Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 36 acre parcel in Southern Colorado. It's this property right here. You have mountain views, electricity, telephone, and internet lines along the road. And it's less than a mile from 6,000 acres of public land, which contains the Cucheras River and the Cucheras Canyon. So from the property, you have a view of the Spanish Peaks and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains along with Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest. This is the parcel boundary outlined right here, the 36.77 acres. And you're less than a mile, only eight tenths of a mile to the border of the 6,000 acres of public land that contains the Cucheras River and the Cucheras Canyon. This is an actual recent photo of that public land. You can see the Cucheras River flowing here. And in some spots you have a variance of over 500 feet between the, the top of the canyon to the bottom of the canyon. So it makes for some very dramatic, beautiful views. Activities include hunting, backpacking, hiking, wildlife viewing, bird watching, photography, and more. Native wildlife in the area includes bighorn sheep, black bear, elk, mule deer, white-tailed deer, pronghorn, and mountain lion. And this is the road just to the east, which is Turkey Ridge Road South. And you can see there's electricity poles and lines overhead, and there's underground telephone and internet lines. You can see Turkey Ridge Road South identified here to the east. There's a nearby landowner that has developed uh, their parcel. This is only about a half a mile from the property. And then you have a 60-foot easement in place for ingress, egress, and utilities. This is a little lake nearby just to the west called Hauser Lake. And then you have a couple livestock watering wells that were drilled. So this is the plat map. Here's the parcel outlined here in green. And then this is that 60-foot easement for utilities and access. And then here's uh, Turkey Ridge Road South. The elevation here is around uh, 5,850 feet. And this topographic map gives you an idea of the elevation variances between the top of the canyon and the bottom of the canyon. See here down here you've got some areas where you're at 5,400 feet and then some of these areas up here like right here you're at 5,942 feet so 542 feet variance. These are street signs marking the roads. You can see that several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties which we've identified here by circling them. This is a nice home that was built just across the road to the southeast. This is a property directly east of the parcel which we identified in a previous picture. You can see they have a unique type structure and you've got an RV parked outside of there. So both of these homes are just to the east of the property. And then looking to the northwest, you can see additional nearby developed properties. This is one of the ranches that we just circled and looked at. You can see they have the main home, a horse trailer parked outside. They have a detached uh, garage, appears to be two to three car, and then another uh, detached accessory building which is, uh, has a corral around it, which is used for some sort of livestock, maybe horses, cattle. Another nearby developed property to the southwest, and again, you have mountain views from the property. This photo here gives you kind of a full expanse because you have the, the Spanish Peaks, the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, you have Greenhorn Mountain all in the same view, and, and more mountains as you continue on north. So now we're looking at the Google Earth terrain views of the property. So this is east of the property looking west. You see the mountains in the distance that we've seen in the photos as well. Now we're north of the property looking south. So you have Turkey Ridge Road south to the east of the property, and then you have County Road 122 to the west of the property. And this image here gives you a real good perspective of the property in relationship to the Cucheras Canyon and the Cucheras River with that 6,000 acres of public land. And this image here gives you a real good sense of that variance in the elevation that we talked about. And having such a large amount of public land with these great features is an amazing attribute. And then we circled those nearby developed properties that we've looked at previously. In addition to the BLM land, which is shaded there in yellow, you also have thousands of acres of state land that is near the property as well, which is the blue shaded areas. These are satellite images of some of those nearby properties just to give you a better perspective of what they look like from a satellite image. This is the property that's almost directly east just across Turkey Ridge Road south. And then this is the, the home to the southeast. This is the ranch we looked at to the northwest. And then we have some additional nearby developed ranches. You can see they have you know, mature trees growing around the properties, multiple accessory buildings, barns, corrals, 
operations of varying sizes. This is a nearby developed property just to the north, and this property is over to the west. Now you're only about 30 minutes to Walsenburg, Colorado, and Walsenburg is the county seat of Orfano County where the property is located, and Walsenburg has a population of around, you know, roughly 4,000 people. This is a historic county courthouse in Walsenburg. This is the main street in Walsenburg where you have businesses, professional services, restaurants, grocery supplies. There's great medical care available in Walsenburg. So this is the Spanish Peaks Regional Health Center where you have an emergency room with a level 4 trauma center. You also have the highly rated Colorado State Veterans Home, specialty medical clinics. This is the high school in Walsenburg. You have a golf course that's right next to the Lathrop State Park where you have two lakes and this state park has almost 1600 acres. Activities include fishing, boating, swimming, water sports. You can also go hunting and horseback riding in the Lathrop State Park. And you're only an hour from Trinidad to the south and just a little over an hour to Pueblo, Colorado to the north. And it makes it convenient because you're so close to Interstate 25. So Interstate 25 then will take you north to Colorado Springs, which is less than two hours from the property. And then you're only about three hours to Denver, Colorado. We have this 36.77 acre property priced at just $24,000. All the property details are listed here on our websites, including links to additional resources for nearby amenities and points of interest. There's no time limit to build. There are some covenants, which you can download right here. And then we have over 50 photos and an interactive map. So if you'd like to purchase this property while it's available, go to our website and click on this buy now button. What that'll then do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then select this checkout button right here. This window will then open where you can enter all your information and complete the checkout process. Once the checkout process is completed, we'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been made Then we'll take the property off the market. We'll send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement. The $499 deposit is credited towards the purchase price and we cover all of the closing costs. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have a live chat feature right here where you can contact us in real time. We try to be available as often as possible. If for some reason we're not available, it enables you to submit a message and we'll get back to you at our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form or email us directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. As always, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and sharing this information with your family, friends, and colleagues. Wishing all of you a blessed day.